He is not the representative of the group. He is a member of the group, just like I am a member of a group, just like Brendan's a member of a group, just like Brittany's a member of a group. We are a horizontal group that okay. operates if as If you a treat me with respect, I will treat you with respect. Have we ever treated you disrespectfully, Dr. Your Brendan? attempt to tell me that this is not the way things are working says to me that I'm not paying attention. I am paying attention. If you tell me what you would like me to do, I'm very happy to address it. Dr. Kalushi, we don't feel like it's been respectful to us to single out a member of our group. I'm dealing with the person who started dealing with me, and I'm dealing with him the way he's dealt with me. I'd be very happy to deal with you. Do you really have to do that? Um, is there anything wrong with me to you? Well, I don't particularly appreciate it. Okay. Well, Same I'm with you, sir. That. I'm just Shouldn't through. you at least ask my permission to include me? I'm just, I'm just filming through. Okay. Shouldn't you at least ask my permission? I would ask you. I would show you the same courtesy. Actually, the you know, University of Houston Police Department has videotapes on several <coughs> cases. They've never asked us. Well, that's your problem with them. I'm not the police department either. You. If I would be happy to deal with you. I hope you know what I've tr been trying to do regarding freight trade coffee and making sure that everybody who is a consumer has the option to, to get fair trade coffee. What have you done in order to, to take steps towards I've that? made sure that it's served and it's advertised. But it took a year and a half to make sure it was advertised. <laughs> well, I haven't been here a year and a half, so I can only account for what has happened since I've been here. But you have the well, concern we have with you is that you have not addressed us as a group. No, we don't know what goes into Timothy O'Brien's inbox. That's not our responsibility. His inbox, we don't screen his inbox. That's his personal email account. Uh, we have an official email, what email would you, account for um, Look, I know what you're trying to do. That's fine. Let's deal with the issue. I have tried to make it very clear, and I emailed Mr. O'Brien, and he shared it with everybody else. I don't have a problem with that. I'm trying to make it very clear that we have tried to support the notion that consumers should have a choice and be informed about that choice. What about the shared government? The shared governance process, we haven't, we haven't seen what you're trying, I understand what you're trying to say, Dr. Kush, we haven't seen that through the shared governance process, nor from your office to the That is what we are trying to tell you right What's now. What's more important, your process or getting the right thing done? We don't see that. Wait, is it our process? What's, what's our process? It's your I'm not. Am I talking to you or to her? Sorry. Sorry. No, Look, but he's right. Excuse, this is me. The excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Am I talking to you or Mr. O'Brien? You're talking to me. Okay. He's, Fine. He's I'd be my group that I'm, <coughs> I'm just trying to be reasonable. I would like to make sure that I can do something that will be good for everyone. What that means is making sure that fair trade coffee is available and that people who are informed consumers can make a choice. Because ultimately, that's what's going to change their buying habits. I'm not a coffee <laughs> drinker. I don't understand the uh, reasons people select one type of coffee over another. But again, we try to make sure that people have that choice. I understand, Dr. Kochi, but you, we have not been, our group has not been involved in what you have been trying to ensure at this campus. Well, and we kind of feel like we're kind of the experts on this issue, and so wouldn't you want to have our input on it? Well, if you're experts, that's great. I'd be happy for your input. I have been available through email. I have been walking around and visiting all the sites. I have talked to the people in line who were consumers. During those conversations, <laughs> I... Okay, now you make a decision who I'm talking to and whether this is a serious conversation or whether this is just another opportunity for Mr. O'Brien to have a little show. You make a decision. I will treat you, I will treat you honestly, fairly, and with respect, but only if you behave that way. But you are talking to me, I'm not behaving. 
Well, would you like to go in and sit down? Would no, you like to go in and sit down? I would like to request a meeting with you and have your We're word. having a meeting right now, right? This is our spontaneous meeting. I, not all, our, I haven't talked to our group members which ones want to be at a meeting with you. It's, it's really an unfair platform. I'm sorry, did you show up here? Yes, we did to request an appointment. Okay, with you. did we you did need have... to show up as a group to do that or could you have sent me an email? We find uh, administration and various other people in the building have misled some facts. They've perceived them as not true, so we don't really appreciate going alone. I don't think an email is going along. And in the past, when we have emailed you, you emailed Tim. Tim so. And I have emailed, well, again, he's Let's the one who started it, and he's the email Let's I responded go. to. What is it you would like? I would like accessibility to your office in order to discuss Accessibility the, to me, to not you, to my office. Of course, to you, pertaining to our fair trade issues. What is it you would like to talk about? I would like to talk about the coffee shop in the library. We're not going to have a coffee shop in the library. I would like library. to talk about why there's no coffee because shop Because you can see that with Starbucks pulling 600 franchises, they're starting to realize that volume is diluted by having many too many locations. We have 23 locations serving food, the majority serve coffee. All we're doing is diluting the volume. Us going out and arguing with Starbucks to get a location that's not going to have enough volume to make it work is a disservice See, that's the for point everybody. Right there. We, we don't want Starbucks. We didn't want a Starbucks. It doesn't matter. We don't need another coffee location. But the library, I know plenty of students who would love a coffee shop. I library. understand that. And there are plenty of students who would like coffee shops in other locations. The question is, how many locations can we support that sell coffee? What we need to do is, number one, monitor the coffee sales and make sure we pay attention to the volume. Number two, make sure we pay attention to where the locations are that are serving coffee. And if they do serve coffee and they have enough volume to continue, we have to, number three, think about whether or not establishing another location takes volume away from those. So that's a business decision. More than happy to talk to anybody about it. Love to have advice from consumers on it. Well, let's set up the appointment then today while we're standing. Would that be okay? Because we have other things. Who's the spokesperson? I am. Maybe okay. respectfully request an appointment with you. Okay. What I'm trying to do is save us the trouble. Since you're all here right now, and I've made myself available, I'm having a conversation with you to try to learn from you what the issues are and what I need to do. I'd rather deal with the issues than talk about the issues. So number one, I have gone out and I have looked at the coffee locations to make sure they had appropriate signage to make consumers aware of the availability of fair trade coffee. That was what I thought you wanted me to do. The signage was Dr. Allen's responsibility and we have... Oh, actually I pushed it through. His people do produce the signage, but I went out to all the locations and I said to them, your signage is not enough. So I asked them to work on more signage. Well, as far as the signage goes, then, we have pictures of signs that are 10 feet off the ground. Um, I don't need to see a child standing with the sign. I went over and looked again yesterday. They have now put over signs on the counters, they have them in the lines, and they have them posted on the walls. On the walls, are they at a reasonable height? I haven't had time to, to go visit the site. So you today. haven't looked? I just okay. came back on I went from a conference. So okay, look. I went and looked. I specifically went and looked. Look. And we'll check after we meet. Okay, please look. do. But I specifically went and looked because I wasn't going to accept them telling me look. they put signs out if they weren't really out there. So I went to the locations and I wanted to see a sign. I wanted to see a big enough sign, not a little sticker, but a large enough sign. Mm -hmm. They put larger signs out. Okay? I had them put larger signs out and I had them put signs in a location where you could see them. Again, you seem to be questioning whether or not my model works. If you think my model doesn't work, tell me that. I'm not questioning whether your model works. I'm questioning your desire to talk to us as a group on the issue <coughs> that we advocate for. <coughs> this is how tall the sign was the last time we saw it. Look. Go take a look at the signs. I am more than happy to make sure that people do it right. Implementation and policy are two different things. 